So this is something I didn't have to go back and forth on. I didn't have to think about. I didn't have to look up online. I didn't have to make a list of pros and cons. I didn't have to phone a friend. So if you're ready, let's go for the million. What is the most overrated muscle group, especially on YouTube fitness channels? Is it A, quadriceps femoris, B, latissimus dorsi, C, petrificus totalis, or D, biceps brachii? Uh, um, <laughs> I like to call my parents right now. As soon as I thought about this question, I knew 100% that the most overrated muscle group are the biceps. Here are four reasons why that is true. The first is gonna be aesthetics. When it comes to how you look, what actually matters is going to be your frame. So it's gonna be your neck, your traps, your shoulders, and then your triceps, and then your lower body as well. Your biceps don't actually impact your frame very much. When it comes to actually looking big, that line is gonna be what is most important. And your biceps really have very little to actually do with that. In fact, there was a 2013 study that found that 79% of the variability of a woman's perceived attraction of a man had to do with their V taper. Shoulders help that, lats help that, biceps don't do dick for that. They do literally nothing when it comes to your V taper, your frame. I think a lot of guys are addicted to training their upper arms and they also overestimate how much they're actually important. Today, both Ryan Humiston and Jeff Cavalier came out with an arm video. For some channels, it seems like half of their goddamn videos are directly related to biceps. That is absolutely absurd. If you look at the actual biceps, they are not a big muscle. They might look like they're big, but they're not. They are roughly half the size of the triceps, three times smaller than the delts, and 15 times smaller than the quads. If you want to actually put on quality mass, most of your musculature, probably 75, maybe 80% of your muscles are going to be in your lower body and in your back. Those are going to be by far the biggest areas to focus on. And if you actually want to get bigger, that's what you need to do. So heavy compound movements, your rows, your squats, your deadlifts, pull-ups, pull-downs, that kind of stuff is what is going to actually build your entire body, not more curls. Number two is going to be athleticism. Now, if you want to run fast, jump high, just be a badass overall when it comes to any kind of sport, most sports are going to be triple extension. So it's going to be your glutes, your adductors, your quads, your hamstrings, uh, to a certain extent, lower back. Even calves are going to be more important for athleticism than the biceps. I would say biceps are probably the least important muscle and the most expendable when it comes to actually performing well in the majority of sports. The only thing I can really think of is calisthenics, so pull-ups, that kind of thing, and maybe strongman when you're loading stones, the biceps can help there as well, but most sports, they don't really do very much. Ping pong. In powerlifting, the great Ed Cohn, he said that biceps are like ornaments on a Christmas tree. And he's absolutely right. They just aren't that important. The squat, they do nothing. The deadlift, basically nothing. The bench, also basically nothing. When it comes to weightlifting, most weightlifters actually avoid direct arm work because it can get in the way of a good front rack position. I can't get in a good front rack because my freaking biceps runs into my upper or my lower arm and I can't even get in the right positions. If you look at a lot of professional Olympic weightlifters, they don't even do biceps work for that reason. It doesn't help their sport and it actually makes them worse. Finally, for most people, compound movements are going to be enough to get very, very good growth, especially if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner and you can't grow from rows, from pull-ups, from pull-downs, from those basic compound movements, something is wrong. Sure, some people are not arm dominant and their lats tend to take over, or their traps or whatever, and they might want specific work, but for most people, I think they put in too much specific work. I do write curls in programs pretty often, but that's mostly because I know people are gonna do it anyway. I know if I don't write in curls, people are gonna be like, well, I guess I better go do some curls, and so I might as well write in some tried and true basic curling movements. I think a lot of people, they overdo the variety of curls, and this gets in the way of actual results and progressive overload. Don't let that be you.
So I guess the main message is if you like curling, if you want to bring up your biceps, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But keep in mind they're often overtrained and overdone and overrated. And if you want to actually build a decent physique, usually biceps are not going to be the road that gets you there. It's going to be compound movements, working those muscles of the torso, the lower body, and not overdoing what is a very, very small muscle group. All right, that's all for this video. Like, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. You know what to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.